Hi, this is Christine and welcome to my YouTube channel Scrap and Rabbit. I'm hoping to take some time this week to get around to listing all of the journals that I've been making and I was too lazy to post to my YouTube channel and list in my Etsy store. So I'm going to start with this one. I made this using some tea dyed paper, an assortment of papers that I had, and it's in a floral theme. And I also used a book the re that I recycled. I used a book cover to make the covers of the journal. And I have a cute little die cut here, a little flower, and this is in keeping with the floral theme of the, of the journal. And I have four signatures stitched inside. I have a large button here and I have a detachable chain with charm and some beads on here and a little piece of rickrack ribbon. So this is a lobster claw. You can just remove it if you wanted to attach this to a purse or somewhere else. Of course, being careful because don't let kids play with this in case some little pieces come off. It could be a choking hazard. And here's the back of the journal. Now I also attached some charms on these little tabs and these are with the little gourd pins and I've got a little four leaf clover, a butterfly, a cactus and a leaf and this is tied with some seam binding so I'm just going to Go ahead and open this up and I will take you through it fairly quickly. I didn't do any stamping in this one. I tried to keep as much space for writing as possible. I did add some pictures of flowers and gardens. So here on the inside cover I have a little envelope that's just tucked in here. And here's the first signature. I love the colors in this paper. I've made a few journals with this paper already and I think I've made some scrapbook albums as well. So here you can tuck something behind there and here's some tea stained paper. And there's a little tear in the corner but I left it because I think it looks kind of neat. It makes it look older. And here you can always tuck something behind there. I've got some square lined paper. And I like doing this in the journals because it keeps as much room as possible for for writing. And I wanted to put this photo there, or it's, it's an image, flowers on a chair. And by having it attached to the side like that, you can still write on the, on the page. You've got the whole page to write on, and you can also write inside the flap. And then here I have some lace, and this goes all the way over to the other side of the... Uh, of the signature and it's shaped like a pocket and I stitched around the edges to hold that in place and here's another image this one is uh, fruits and again that opens like that and I have just a plain envelope here and this can be written on or you can attach memorabilia on there and uh, here's the other pocket and I have this beautiful flower this was taken from I think it was a greeting card and I punched the corners and that just slides in there I'm not sure I can't remember how many pages there are in this journal but there's quite a few and there's a nice little tag and I just tucked that in here and here's a plastic sleeve for storing memorabilia. Another tag. So I'm going to go through fairly quickly just to show the images. And there's another pocket here. Another one of these flaps. Another envelope. And you can tuck something inside there. That's daisies on the back, a tag and I just tore the bottom edge and I inked around. That slides in there, a doily. So there's lots of room for stamping and for adding 
other embellishments in here. Since I'm putting this in my Etsy shop, I like giving people the option of decorating however they like. There's the other section of the sleeve. And another lace pocket. It's pretty paper. And again, you can just slide something behind there. It's another plain envelope. I'm going to count the pages and I'll, I'll list it in my Etsy, in the description in my Etsy shop. There's another tag. I really like these little gourd clips. They're handy because they're so easy to slide on. And because these are pins, you can actually make um, ribbon tabs if you like and just attach them to that. I like how they dangle. And this was yeah, also some tea dyed paper. Another little envelope with another little tag I made with sheet music. That's just a die cut. It's a beautiful bouquet. There's the back, and again, there's another plastic sleeve. And this is a little die cut I had, and I just tucked in another one of these envelopes. I put a piece of tape across the, the top of this one so it can always be sealed. So there's my floral theme journal. And like I said, I'm hoping to get around to listing all of the other journals that I've made because I've got quite a few items and I just never got around to to putting them in my Etsy shop, so I'm hoping to do that this week. So have a nice day and happy crafting. Bye.